Today's episode of ABR TV is a special interview episode where we have the player who made the biggest news over the weekend, Aquinas' Ahmed Hill, and the coach whose team has made the biggest impact this season, Glenn Hill's Spartans coach, Travis McRae. But we'll start off here with Ahmed Hill, who Friday night scored 41 points in a 70-65 to victory over Richmond Academy. Ahmed, thank you for joining us. Oh, no problem. Now, Ahmed, is it true that you told your, your AAU assistant basketball coach, Matt Scott, to send the message to the ABR folks that you had something special planned Friday night, that you were tired of hearing about this team and that player, and that you wanted to, uh, that, that you had something special in store for us? Oh, of course, because um, ever since Tuesday, as our game, I just heard of oh, this player been better than me because they scored this many points, and it was about three to four players that people just kept naming that saying it was better than me. So I was like, um, okay, and y'all can just come to the game Friday, and we'll see. <laughs> or they could just check the website, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Now, um, so so. You know, watching you play, I really started seeing it at the Peach Jam this this summer, and I see it just continue now. This thing where you get the defensive rebound and you take off and you get that head of steam going, um, and, and the smaller guards in the open court are unable to stay in front of you, unable to stop you from getting to the basket. Um, do, when when you you also had 17 rebounds Friday night. When you when that ball goes up on the defensive end, are you really hungry to get it so you can get started on the on the break? Oh, of course, because I know that the big players are not able to get down that fast, and the smaller players they can't get in front of me from or they can't stop me from getting to the basket. So it just I figured that it's either two points for me. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it sure was Friday night and has been for, you know, the, the, the year and a half that I've been watching you play. Now, when um, – the other thing I've noticed, and this is, in my opinion, maybe a little bit different from last season. Uh, in the half-court set, when the, the defense is set, you seem to be much more comfortable now getting to where you want to get off the dribble, um, whether it be, you know, out of the triple threat or if your dribble's live, you know, you tend to you tend to be able to get to your spot um, – is that um, something I know that you work? I've seen you work extremely hard. I hear about your work ethic. Um, you know, have you been working especially hard on your game off the dribble? Yes. Um, last year, I probably was just a shooter, and people told me with my body and frame that I need to get to the basket more. So me and my coaches been working on everything I do now is just um, certain moves to get to the basket or certain moves pull up. But I knew that I had to add it to my game to play on the next level, so that's what I've been working on. Yeah, I remember one of those sessions this summer that I was present for, and um, I remember, you know, I was talking to you about the same thing, and I gave you that basketball, and I told you to wear it out and, you know, dribble it all day, you know, in the pavement, wherever you want. Um, do you still have that ball? Um, yeah, but it has no grip on it. Has no grip. That's good. That's good. That means you've been using it. That means you've been using it. Good. Well, hey, next time I see you, you need to say, hey, Chad, give me another basketball because, um, you know, the, the old one lost the grip. And the, if, if, yeah. if that ball, if doing that can produce the kind of results that, you, that you've that uh, you yielded, you know, off the dribble, adding that to your game, you know, hey, you can get a basketball from me every three months if you want. Now, um, let me ask you – let me ask you this. I'm going to change subjects for a second. Um, the last time I think I saw you in person was at the Hoops preview, and your team wasn't playing, but you were watching all the other teams play, and one of those teams was Keenan High School, AAU teammate of yours, Marcus Stroman, who will be a Gamecock in a couple of years. Um, we're going to broadcast his game Friday night against Oak Hill, and um, I just want to get your opinion. After that Hoops preview, I said, who was the baddest man in the gym tonight? And you said Marcus Stroman. I know you're a big fan, and I know he's a good friend. Um, do you uh, do you anticipate him, uh, he and his Keenan team, having success against maybe the best high school basketball team in the country? Um, I do expect them to play extremely hard, but 
it's oatmeal and they have uh, tons of weapons, but I expect them to uh, stick with them because Kenya has a very hard team and they get after it and they compete, so it'll be a pretty good game. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And also, uh, Keenan's head coach, uh, Zach Norris, is the brother of your head coach, uh, Bernie Norris. So um, that's a, um, you know, you go, you have plenty of ties over there in Columbia with Keenan High School, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, now last thing, Ahmed, I'll tell you what, the guys around here, your opponents, the players, the coaches from the other team, you know, I'm pretty sure that they're a little, you know, they're, they're, they might be getting worried now because when we hang up the phone, I'm going to talk to Travis McRae, the head coach of Glen Hills. And, you know, I, Will, Avery, and I, my partner, we've been calling them the most impressive team in Augusta so far. And, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, that's, that's going to make Ahmed mad. That's going to make him go try to score 40 again. So, you know, I, I'm running a big risk here. So, so j- just – so those guys know you're not going to go off and get like 60 or 70 points tomorrow because I'm going to go talk to Coach McRae, are you? Um, I might. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Good answer, man. Well, good luck tomorrow. We will see you both tomorrow and Friday and Saturday at the Border Bash at Aquinas High School. Huge tournament between Georgia schools and South Carolina and North Carolina schools. That's this Friday and Saturday at Aquinas High School, and Ahmed, thank you for joining me. You know I'm the biggest fan, um, or, you know, one of your biggest fans. I know you have a lot, and um, I just really wish you luck uh, in the next few games and throughout the season. Oh, thank you, and no problem. Okay, man, take care. Talk to you soon. All right, thank you. Okay, now we are on to our next guest, Travis McRae, the head coach for the Glen Hill Spartans. Travis, thank you for joining us. Oh, no problem, Chad, no problem. Yeah, now, Travis, we, um, you, you know, your team, the Glen Hill Spartans, off to a great start, 4-0, and four wins against very, very good teams. Um, in addition to Alatuna and Evans, you, you have beaten uh, Josie and Laney so far. Laney, the Laney win com- comes in their gym. So, um, you know, just a great start. Um, it's been about a week since you've played. How have practices been going, and do you feel like the momentum will continue, um, you know, when your next game comes? Um, I, I gave the guys Wednesday off, but we came back Thursday and Friday, and we worked really hard in the gym. Um, that's one thing I never have to worry about is, is guys – being in tune and being um, ready to practice. Um, practice is real loud because there's a lot of good competition practice. So I feel like tomorrow we'll be ready to play. I bet, I bet. And you know, you've known Will, Avery, and me for a long, long time. You know we're hoops junkies. And um, and right. so we – yeah, yeah. So we are locked in for tomorrow's game at Glen Hills between you and Athens Christian. Athens Christian, the, the returning um, runner-up in Class A um, state championship ball. And um, you guys, you know, the way we look at it, you guys have the most impressive team in our area so far this season. That's probably the most impressive team that's visited our area and so, so we're, we're really excited now. Will tells me he was at the Greenbrier Athens Christian game Saturday. He tells me that you were calling him, or at least you called him once, I think, and wanted to know what this kid, Will Jackson, looks like, um, the six foot four guard that everybody's talking about from Athens Christian. Is that true? Me and Will, uh, we sent a lot of texts back and forth, but um, really I was more trying to find out what, what the other, other guys were doing. Um, you know, being on the AAU circuit with, with, with Aubrey, um, um, you know, they come across Will three or four times in games and been in the gym when he was playing. So we know all about Will Jackson. It's just the other, other, other pieces that we we're trying to focus on, you know, when it comes to tomorrow's matchup. So we know Will very well. Okay, I got you. That makes sense with him being – um, uh, in the same AAU age group as your son, Aubrey McRae, who, in my opinion, is such a big part of your success. Junior, six foot three guard, um, can do a little bit of everything, a fierce competitor. Um, how, how is it, how much do you enjoy coaching your son? Oh, I, I love coaching Aubrey. Um, sometimes I might be a little hard on him than the rest of the guys, but at the end of the day, he, he's, 
very receptive to my coaching, and he's done a great job for me. Yeah, sure has. Now, um, back to Jackson um, for a second. Uh, Greenbrier, um, I'm pretty sure I've been told they played a zone against him, and he kind of picked them apart. Your guys are, you know, used to getting after it full court, um, you know, playing that hard, tough man-to-man defense, and you've got a lot of athletic guards that um, play physical and play quick. And, um, you know, sir, are you uh, looking to throw a lot of bodies at this guy and, and try to wear him down through the course of the game? Oh, yeah. Um, that, our plan is not going to change. We're going to try to make them play the way we want to play. Um, you know, I, like you said, I have a lot of good athletic defenders. We're going to try to pick them up full and, and, and see how he can handle what, um, you know, see if he can handle our tempo for 32 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, we're not going to let him sit back in those zone and pick us apart. Um, um, like I said, we've seen him play. I, he can handle the ball pretty good, you know, in my opinion. But uh, I think we can have some defenders that he, he's probably going to have a, a hat scene. For. Um, looking at their skills, they played Putnam County. They played um, Athens Academy, which just coming out of the football playoffs. They pretty much did now them and Greenbrier, which, you know, I don't think they have the type of caliber of athletes we have. So, I think this would be a stiff test for him to see where you know see where he really is. Yeah, yeah, I do too. And and you know they have to guard you too. And your guards have been exactly. absolutely you know very effective this season. Santo Nina, Aubrey McRae, Naquan Turner, um, Aaron Toot Williamson, um, and then even others. I mean, I, I called you last week and said, you know, who's this guy? Who's that guy? You know, a lot of guys right. making contributions for you early. Yeah, this uh, is. It makes coaching easy when you when you know you, you can come off the bench and not lose a lot. So yeah. you know like we can rest guys, keep guys fresh, and we don't have to we can keep our defense and intensity up. That's the main thing. Yeah. You know most of my guys can score and you know do offense things, but our our main focus this year is if you're gonna rest or you're gonna take a playoff, take it off on offense. Don't take no, don't take a playoff on defense. I'm, I'm not gonna pull y'all for shooting bad shots. Not going to chastise you, you know, on the offense. I mean, what's going to get you pulled out of the game is mid defense assignments. Yes. Okay. So, you know, that helps a lot when, when your guys can be fresh defense. Yeah. Now, um, you know, I mentioned Santonino again, uh, Santonina again uh, earlier. And I'll tell you, um, early in the season, before your first game, he tweeted us at AUGB Ball on Twitter and he said, you know, I don't, I don't hear you talking about Glenn Hills, and I've got, you know, we've got something <laughs> to show you. And, uh, you know, that's been a trend. I'm about, you know, I talked to Ahmed earlier, Ahmed Hill earlier, and he um, took a little inspiration. Coach Kenny at Evans, um, you know, took some inspiration. After, actually, after you guys put a whooping on them, he, um, you know, we made some comments on our show about that, and, and they kind of took that as inspiration against uh, – Aquinas and you know Aquinas, people, right. it, 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 people are kind of watching right and and, and there's kind of a, a little bit of buzz and, you know people are paying attention to what oh, yeah, they yeah. said and it's added a little bit right they, they, you know I I go on, I go on the website every now and then but I don't have to because they they don't come they don't go on it every day they will tell me there keep keep me up time and that what we do on the court you know so but you yeah. know young guys can be very impressionable you know with this you know technology age. So you know, I try to tell them to just calm down and don't pay attention to that stuff. But in the end, you know they're gonna look at. It. Well, you know, you know what I tell them, Travis is don't don't pay attention to anything I say anyway, because I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh no, no. You, you know what you're talking <laughs> about, Chad. Like I said, we, you've been around a long time. You play summer league with, so you, you know the game. I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. Thanks a bunch for the interview. I'll be keeping in touch, and we'll be rooting for you tomorrow. Okay, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Appreciate it. Okay, take care, ma'am. All right, thank you.